Morning everyone, hope you're doing really well. Hopefully my connection's gonna hold up because it keeps cutting out. I'm trying to record this video. But I'm here in my backyard in Brisbane. It's a beautiful little backyard. Actually, we're really blessed because we've got this um, nice little retreat-like setting behind us, which is awesome. But um, I want to come to you today and just share a video, um, a bit of a really raw, real video with you, actually, and um, because there's a lot of truths I need to share that I guess I haven't really been sharing. I haven't really been my authentic self. Um, so I want to share with you today and just share some of the I guess you could call them revelations that I got over Christmas period while I was away from social media. Media, Amazing how that happens, isn't it? Um, but look, if you've come to one of my workshops or you've been coached by me or you've read my story um, on, on the website, you would know that I share that five years ago I was one sick mama. But do you know what? I wasn't sick five years ago. I've been sick for most of my life. Because the only difference is that five years ago, the symptoms went from whispers to screams. That's the difference. That's what happened. So five years ago, they went from whispers to screams. But the truth of the matter is, I've actually been sick most of my life. I was a severe asthmatic from a very young age and on steroids and Ventolin and uh, Becotide. And I had severe anxiety and depression as a teenager. And... You know, my gut health's been pretty messed up most of my life, I think it's true to say. So when I say that I was sick five years ago, well, it's technically not really true. I was sick my whole life, and it's only really five years ago that I started to pay attention. And the reason for that is because I've been so disconnected from my body and so disconnected from my soul and what it needs that I didn't hear those whispers and those warning signs and those signals and those times where I was having chronic constipation and those times where I was going through moments of severe depression and anxiety. I didn't link it because I had no connection to my body. Um, and I guess 2016 was a really, really tough year for me because I realized that I've spent five years working on the physical, physical aspect of my body, which is great because you need to do that, right? Diet is huge. It's, it's so, so important. But what I have never really done is connected all three elements of my body. And of course, there's the physical side, there's the mental and emotional side, and then there's the spiritual side. And I honestly believe that unless you deal with those three areas, it is really, really hard to heal from the inside out. It's really hard to heal your gut. And I guess I'm, I'm sharing that with you because there's a lot of emphasis on changing the physical aspect of your gut and looking at your diet. And as I said, that's great. It will definitely improve. Like as I've changed and overhauled my diet in the last five years, I've learned how to ferment things. I've started eating real whole foods. We don't need anything out of a package. We've gotten rid of artificial colors and flavorings and all that rubbish. Um, and of course, that's going to make a difference because you're putting fuel, you're putting good stuff into your body. So it's going to make a difference. But what it's done for me is just significantly reduced my symptoms but it's not actually really 100% healed my body and that as I said is because I never really connected the emotional the mental and the spiritual side of healing and 2016 really took me on a journey to exploring that um, and so I guess I'm sharing this with you because I want you to be aware that one of the very very first steps to healing your gut is really connecting with yourself connecting with your body your soul what it needs and having that awareness that there is a three-sided approach to healing, that it's not just about the physical, that it's very much about looking at the emotional, the mental, the uh, spiritual side of things. And for me, I dealt with a lot of rejection in my life. I had a mother who left when I was six. And so every time rejection came up or portrayed projection, uh, rejection came up in my life, I would instantly have this knot in my stomach and these severe digestive problems and even now if I allow those emotions to come back up again and I get upset or you know deal with and hold on to that rejection in my body my gut issues are awful awful and it doesn't matter how healthy I'm eating it doesn't matter that I'm eating all these beautiful real whole foods chemical free foods if I'm not dealing with that root cause with that issue of rejection that I've held on to so long in my life it's not going to make a significant difference to my gut, my healing, my health. So I really want to encourage you in 2017 to look at gut healing 
as so much more than just the physical and the diet. Of course, do that. It's going to make a big difference. It's going to really, really help you and reduce some of the symptoms going on in your body because you're giving your body love. You're giving it fuel. Do that. Please do that. But know that gut healing is so much more than just the physical. It's the mental and emotional stuff that we deal with, that we hold on to, that we harbor. But it's also the spiritual side of things how we're connecting with our soul, how we're connecting with our being, our purpose, our reason for living, you know, because it's so much more than just this physical body. So I just really want to encourage you this year and ask you the question, how are you going to connect with yourself in 2017? Are you going to connect with those three elements of healing, the physical, the the mental and emotional and the spiritual? Because when you do, oh gosh, let me tell you, it makes such a difference to your health and your well-being and your wholeness. So that's my video for you today. Thank you for joining me. If you're here live today, say a big hello on the comments so I know you're there. And, um, and look, share this video. Let people know that gut healing is a three-pronged approach and that it is so, so doable to heal your gut when you look at your body from the inside out. Love you guys. Thank you for joining me and I'll talk to you soon.